How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again continuing our beginner's guide in Minimator. And today's just going to be a little quick tip about how to animate or extend an animation uh, with relative positioning. So that kind of sounds like a fancy way of describing what we're basically going to be covering. But uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is use the backwards walk cycle that we made in the previous tutorial. And uh, what I want to show is if you wanted to extend this animation. So let's just say he's going and you're like, oh, that's not far enough. So technically you could just move the position here and extend the walk cycle, but let's just say you're in a situation where you need to have this position point here and you just want to copy things and keep going from another point. So let's just use this example here and we're just gonna copy the walk cycle here. Maybe right about there, we're gonna copy that and paste just like so and I think that's all right. Okay, so now that we've got the walk cycle copied here, you'll see that he just kind of stops and uh, yeah, that's that's basically what happens. So we want him to keep walking, we want him to keep going, but let's just say we need to copy the position markers for his body. So this is probably not the best example for this. There are times where you'll run into this and this isn't like really one of them, but just as an example here, let's say we want him to continue, but we need to copy the position of the body here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these keyframes and we're just gonna paste it like so. And as you'll see here, the original keyframe is over here. So what you'll get is like he's walking backwards and then he's going to zoom back like this. But what if we want to easily be able to copy those keyframes and have him maintain his position? Well, basically the way Mimeator works is this position can become relative if you use these markers instead of the position value here. So that kind of doesn't make sense, but let's just say if uh, I know right here on this keyframe, he is at negative y 40 144 all right so basically then that means at this point he needs to be like at negative 146 or something like that so if i go all right let's go negative 146 on this and he should kind of keep going well then that didn't work because now both of these keyframes that we copied for him are at 146 or 144 whatever value we put in because we entered it here so let's undo that so right there, we get this and he's back to the way it was. But instead of doing that by changing this value, we're gonna go ahead and grab him here. So let's go ahead and bring up that keyframe. He's back at negative 74. So let's just drag this on back. Let me actually turn off the grid here and have that on from the last tutorial. So we're just gonna drag him back like this. And we're gonna watch that value up here. As you can see, it's changing as I drag him back and we're just gonna kind of eyeball it somewhere around there, maybe like that. And what that should do is that actually makes the position relative to where it was initially. So even though we changed the value of his position, we did it with this. And so now these two keyframes are not the same value. They become relative to what they were since we were using the little like move gadget here. So if you watch it, then he kind of stutters there. He may need to move a little bit further. So we're just gonna, this isn't really that important, but anyway, so you get this and then he continues walking. So that's kind of a little tip there for when you're animating. If you need to copy the position of something and you want it to continue from where it left off, there's a difference between whether you use the gadgets here or the actual value when you have multiple keyframes selected. So basically to reiterate that and try to simplify it, if you use this, then the values of these keyframes will basically move based on where they were initially, based on their initial value. So you're adding that movement to their initial value. Whereas if you use the position value up here, you're actually changing the value of it altogether and not moving it relative to where its original position was. Hopefully that was uh, sensible in some way. I don't really know how helpful this is, but it's one of those things where if you're having trouble positioning things and you're kind of moving between the value here or using the arrows over here, you may be getting different results and you don't know why. Well, that could very well be it. And uh, this is something that I've used in my animations when I'm working on certain movements and things and I want to copy a position value and kind of move it to another place to kind of keep the character moving the way I have them. Maybe there's like a stuttery walk cycle where the position here is always changing and you want to copy that but not have to redo it every time where well, you can do this so you keep that position relative and you can move things without changing the value of all the keyframes to a singular value. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope it was helpful. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share with your friends if you'll be a pet. And I'll see you guys in the next video.